rent or buy after you've downsized from your family home? What works for you? Hi, welcome to Halifax Real Estate Channel. This is the channel where we talk about everything and anything to do with your real, your real estate. I'm Brenda Kay. Today we're going to talk about um, rent versus buying when you've downsized. You know, and let's talk about some of the advantages to renting on, on today. And then we'll do advantages to buying condos too. So you want to downsize your space. Financial freedom uh, with your money uh, more accessible. So in other words, it's not tied up in a mortgage anymore. You've got all your money. You're, it's there. It's easy, easily accessible to pull out where, whenever you need it. That's one. Uh, the other side of the financial is that um, there's no financial risk if anything on the common elements of the condo go wrong. Windows, walkways, this. We've all heard horror stories where a building's been built, something went wrong, there's special assessments. So the, the financial risk from that. You know, and the one of the big things too is the the worry, the worry free. You know, you you're gonna go away for four weeks. You wanna go golfing down South Carolina. You know what? You lock your door and you walk out. You don't have to worry about it. You have content insurance, of course, but you're not gonna worry about the ice or the snow. You know, you're you're that those days are gone. Here's one of the biggest ones that I tell my my um, clients that are downsizing is the best thing about renting. Like there's so many new buildings out there. Rent their apartments aren't the same as they used to be. It's not like you get this little galley kitchen, and you know um, I'm in here all the time, and he's over in another room watching TV right there, a big wall in between. You can't see each other. They're beautiful, and some of them I was in one today. 1,400 square feet, beautiful, over by Larry Utah. That's the top level of a bungalow in a house. But here's the biggest thing when you're considering, do I rent an apartment or do I buy a condo when I'm downsizing? What if I don't like it? You see? Because if you sign a lease for one year and you don't like it, you say, mm, not for me. My grandmother did that. Yeah. And went in and bought another little house for herself and stayed there till the day she died. She could not do the apartment living. So what if you don't like it? And if you like it, great. You sign another year's lease. Or you say, I really like this. I have clients of mine that went into one building over on Larry Utech, and they're watching one being built on the lake. They love apartment living. <laughs> they're going to the lake. So, you know, there's a lot to consider. Yes, you are paying rent and you're not going to get it back. But there are some other considerations of where do you want to be in your life at this point? What do you want to be doing? What do you want to spend your time doing? And what kind of financial risk do you want to take? Give it some thought. If you've ever got any questions, reach out. We're here. Please, if you like my videos and the information that I provide on the Halifax Real Estate Channel, like, subscribe, share with your friends. We have the subscribe button right down underneath there. We'll see you on the next video. Cheers.